Hello everyone and welcome back. For today's mini class, we'll be focusing a little bit more on the breath. So close your eyes, find a comfortable seat, and take two or three natural breaths. Find that natural pattern. Then bring one hand onto your chest and onto your stomach. And bring your awareness to the diaphragm. So to begin today's breath work, we're going to empty the lungs completely and then inhale for one, two, and three seconds. Hold the inhale for a brief moment and then exhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, and keep going if you can, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we really want to completely empty the lungs here and make that exhale a lot longer than the inhale. We want to completely empty the lungs. So repeat it at your own pace. And if 10 seconds is too long for you, shorten the number. Deep, full inhale for three seconds. Long, long exhale. Good, two more deep breaths. What we're doing here is just increasing your carbon dioxide tolerance, which is vital for the body. We need that carbon dioxide to actually help release the oxygen molecules that we breathe in, and therefore helping us bring more energy to the muscles, overall becoming more efficient with our breathing and training those breathing muscles like the diaphragm. Good, return to neutral, open the eyes up, take one deep normal breath. On the next inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the palms towards the chest. Then inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, swing it underneath the left and come into those eagle arms. Elbows then reach down towards the right knee. Find a little gentle side bend here. Try and keep that left sits bone on the mat. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead again. Exhale, palms through the middle. And this time the left arm reaches up with the inhale. Exhale, left arm under the right. Interlace the fingers. Inhale and exhale, bow down towards the left knee. Find a little side stretch here. Inhale, rise back up to that neutral seat. Release the eagle arms with the exhale. Deep breath. Exhale fully. Then next inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, grab onto both elbows behind your back. Inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, try and fold down towards the legs. This variation is too intense for you. Release the elbow hold and place the hands on the mat or on the ground in front of you. Inhale, rise back up, and exhale, place those legs out in front of you. Come down onto your back. Inhale, tuck the knees in. Exhale once here in that supine position. Then on the next inhale, reach the arms up overhead and exhale, bring them down to the hips. We're gonna continue doing that for each inhale and exhale, but we're gonna slowly reach the legs further towards the mat every time the arms reach up overhead. So inhale, extending the arms and the legs slightly more. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, knees tuck in. Inhale, arms up, legs a little bit further out, almost touching the toes to the mat. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, reach, engage your core. Exhale, hands down. Last one, try and make this as extended as you can. And exhale, knees in. From here, inhale, arms up, and try and swing your way into boat pose. So try and keep those legs hovered here. Use the arms to frame the legs, then inhale, arms up, and exhale. Try 
try and twist here, extending the arms out to the sides. So right arms in contact with the left knee. Inhale back to the middle, exhale other side. Hold it steady. Inhale back to the middle again and try and use that momentum to swing your way into Malasada. But you may need some extra help from the hands and that's completely okay. Once you're there, place the hands on the mat so you can be as high as you need to and just sway side to side here a little bit, kind of loosening up the ankles and the hips. Then inhale, begin to alternate and reach different arms up towards the sky here. Try and link your breath. Find freedom in this movement. Good, bring it back to neutral. Inhale here. And then exhale, peel those hips up and back, come into a forward fold. Then inhale, walk the hands forward. And exhale, hop it back or walk it back to your downward dog. Now in your downward dog, reconnect with your breath. Try and practice that breathing technique we did at the beginning throughout these faster paced movements. So we will be picking the pace up. Inhale, walk to your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And inhale, rise up to mountain. Exhale, step the right foot back into your high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, right knee to the mat and hook the right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Modification, right hand on the mat, left arm up towards the sky. If you want to kick it up a notch, maybe engage the right hamstring and bring the right foot towards the glutes. Exhale, lower the right foot down. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, step it all the way back forwards to your mountain pose. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, kick that leg forwards, lower it back down. Good job. Inhale, other side, arms reach up. Exhale, step that left foot back. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, left knee to the mat. Hook the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. And maybe kick it up a notch and bring the left heel towards the glutes, engaging the hamstring. Deep breath. Good job, exhale, release the left foot to the mat. Inhale, lift off of the left knee, reach the arms up. Exhale, kick the left leg forwards. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, release back to your mountain pose. Good job. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, step it back to your plank. On the next inhale, send the hips back and up. Reach the right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach that right leg all the way up and back again. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift the leg up. And exhale, this time, step it between the hands. Inhale, reach the right arm up, and exhale, place it down on the inside of the right foot. From here, inhale, walk those hands towards the left side of the mat, toes pointed towards the left side, and exhale down for a wide-legged forward fold. Again, lengthen through the exhales. Inhale, walk the hands back towards the top of the mat, Pivot off of the left heel. And exhale, lower the left knee to the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, place the right hand on the inside of the right knee, tilt away from the right leg, opening through the hip there. Then inhale here. And exhale, place that right hand down on the inside of the right foot. Inhale, lift off of the left knee and step the right foot back. Exhale, fully in that plank. Then next, inhale, come back to your down dog, three-legged dog, raising the left leg, and then exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift that left leg up. 
and exhale, step the foot between the hands. Inhale, reach the left arm up and place it on the inside of the left foot. On the exhale, bring the right heel to the mat to walk the hands towards the right side. Inhale there and exhale down. Good, deep breaths. Tilting the pelvis forward, stretching through the hamstrings. Inhale, walk the hands back towards the top of the mat. Exhale, lower the right knee to the mat, then place the left hand on the inside of the left knee. Inhale to lift the chest. And bring that left hand back on the inside of the left foot. Step the left foot back. Inhale here. And exhale, lower the knees down to the mat. Lower forwards and down. Flip the feet. Bring the hands a little bit out in front of the chest. And inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, round through the upper back first. Then try and extend it. And exhale, lower. Inhale, round. And exhale, take your time, open. Good, this time hold it at the top and bring the feet towards the head, slightly engaging the hamstrings. Exhale, lower. Release the feet back to the mat. Bring the hands next to the chest and inhale, lift up. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up. Exhale, bring the right knee next to the right hand. Keep the right foot next to the left side of the hip. Then inhale, try and hover here. If this is tricky for you, keep the hands on the mat. We're doing a pigeon lunge. Exhale, hands back to the mat, and slowly lower down into a normal pigeon. This is a bit tricky for you as well. You can bring a block underneath that left thigh. If you'd like to kick it up a notch today, you can try and bring in that left leg and wrap the left elbow around the left foot. Then meet the left hand with the right hand, coming into mermaid pose. If this is too tricky for you, stay in that pigeon position. Good, release out, return to normal pigeon, and then inhale, reach the right leg all the way up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose and then place the right foot back next to the left. Get your base and foundation, and then inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, bring the left knee next to the left thumb and the left foot next to the right side of the hip. Then try and engage the leg and press upwards into an active pigeon. It's okay if this is too much, enter that normal pigeon instead. Then exhale, slowly lower down. Option here, come into that normal relaxed pigeon or sleeping pigeon over the leg. Or bring in the right foot and bring the right elbow around the right foot and then right hand in contact with the left, with the left reaching over your head, coming into mermaid pose. Deep breaths. Exhales longer than the inhale. One last cycle of deep breath here. And then release the hands. Inhale, lift the left leg all the way up and back for three-legged dog. Bend the knee, exhale, knee to nose. Place the left foot next to the right, downward dog. Good, find that alignment. 
Then next inhale, walk between the hands, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift all the way up to Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to the chest. So we're going to try a little bit harder of a peak pose today, but listen to your body and take the modifications if you need them. To begin, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, send it back for option one, our warrior three. So feel free to stay here for the entire duration of our peak pose. If it feels accessible today, maybe bring the left hand on the inside of the left foot, reach the right arm forward, and kick the left leg up and back for dancer's pose, engaging the back, the glutes, and the hamstring. Our final intermediate to advanced option is the mermaid dancer pose. So hooking the left elbow around the left foot and reaching the right arm over the head to meet the left hand. This is too intense, listen to your body, ease out of it, or maybe use a wall and pause the video to give it a go. Release out of whichever pose you've chosen and return to mountain. Then inhale, lift the right leg up, exhale, send it back, take it to the other side. Either hold warrior three for the whole duration, or give dancer's pose a go, bringing the right hand on the inside of the right foot, reaching the left arm forwards. Kick the right foot up towards the sky. Then option three, intermediate to advanced, is that mermaid dancer's pose. Hold it steady. Again, pause if you need to, use the wall if you need to. Nice job, release out of whichever variation you chose. Return to mountain, inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, slowly fold it down. Then walk the feet back, bring the knees to the mat, sink the hips towards the heels, and come take a seat on top of the shins. Bring the right hand on top of the heart, and left hand onto the stomach. Just take a couple of natural breaths here or revisit the breath work yet again. Notice it's your diaphragm, your chest, everything rises and falls. Good job, last deep breath. Find that peace of mind, releasing anything else that may be bothering you. And then connect the palms, roll the shoulders maybe once, and we'll finish there. So thank you so much for joining me again for another yoga flow. And if you enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe for more flows just like this. Thank you, and I will see you next time.